Hello everyone, welcome back. We're playing Final Fantasy 2. This is uh, the second time we're jumping in. I'm here with Yoshi. What's up folks? And this is both our first time seeing this game. Even yeah, like- very different from Final Fantasy 1. Yeah. At first blush. Even back then, like, had you played this on the original Super Nintendo, or I mean, had you played, like, you've seen Final Fantasy 2, the one on Super Nintendo is not this Final Fantasy 2. We oh learned... yeah, this is a super deep cut that only the Japanese fans are going to be familiar with, I would, I would think. Yeah. Until, like, uh, what was it? Mid-2000s or something. Early 2000s. But yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, what did we do last time? We... we basically just walked around and got our butts handed to us for an hour and a half. Just getting absolutely, like, stunned on by these knights, black knights and silver knights and stuff. But that's how they, um, how you level up. You, you uh, you take it. You just take it over it... and over. Is it? I think we're supposed to, like, at least survive. Probably not fight those knights. <laughs> It's an interesting contrivance, I will say that. That, like, they set you up to just run into these bad guys that just kill you. Like, they don't do that in the first one, you know? Yeah, I wonder <laughs> how speedrunning this game works. Because, like, in the first one, you have to, like, pick your fights, I imagine, to just level up just enough to beat that next boss. For this one, you have to, like, attack a certain number of times, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure how the, uh... How it works. It's like... Yeah. So think of it like, um... Working out. The more you use your arms... I know how, I know how you <laughs> think it works. Should we talk I'm to... I'm just not sure that that's how it works. <laughs> should, should, should we talk to uh, these old guys again? No, <laughs> no. Nothing stuff. No, think of the audience at home. <laughs> That's fine. They love this stuff. This is how I play all my games. <laughs> By the way, the any percent record for the game that we are playing is two hours and seven minutes. Wow, glitchless or it's like. No, it says any percent. Any percent, yeah. I, you just said that, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I bet they're playing it. I bet it's a fairly honest playthrough. So there's probably like I won't some go RNG it. manipulation, you know. I feel like that's a thing right. that happens with any percent. That's very much a thing for FF1. It's, it's huge. So I imagine that that's a thing here too. Yeah, I've seen. Um, so the one RPG that I beat before this was like a Golden Sun, one of the few ones I've, I've played. And I've seen speedruns of that and they like, uh, the way they do RNG manipulation, you just like, there's a lot of resetting and like, just messing with things in your menu that like, for no reason, just to like, get the right The RNG. real degenerate stuff. Yeah. So FF1 is mostly that you restart at the beginning, but then the RNG manipulation mostly comes through like being very precise with how many steps you take in certain spots. Mm. Yeah, that's I did not do that. No, but we beat it pretty quick. The Empire also suffered heavy loss at the Battle of Finn. They're building the Dreadnought in Bafsk to help confiscate compensate for those losses what's uh, a dreadnought that's the thing they've been they've been talking this dreadnought up i don't know what it is but if, now we know that they're building it in a uh, fast i guess we learned about the dreadnought now um let's ask about mithril again i don't remember what we're doing i know we got this new guy who joined oh us. yeah he's op right he's like level really high level or something yeah we don't have levels, but yeah, he has like all this magic. Please lose no time and bring back the Mithril. Oop. Uh, the Empire is using the people of Bafsk 
to build the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought itself is a massive heavily armed airship. Okay. We're learning a lot of stuff here. A man named Sid, the former captain of Finn's Order of the White Knights, built an airship. It's a ship that sails the skies, but the airship captivated him, body and soul, and he soon left Finn. We are poor for his absence. I am told he now lives in Poft, granting travelers passage on his airship for a price. So that's the airship that just flies around, huh? Oh yeah, it's a little sky fairy, okay. So we got Poft, we can head to. There's Bap, Bapsts, with a Dreadnought, we can mess with that. He then uses this money to make further renovations on his airship, or so the story goes. Ooh, let's show him the canoe. Nothing happens. All right, I know we want to bring the Mithril back to Altair. Yeah, that seems to be a priority. No okay, wizards. it's in Salamand. All right. I should okay. um, <laughs> get my notebook and write this stuff down, because you don't know what's going on. I don't know nothing about nothing. All right, hold on. I got a little, I got some paper here. So, Mithril at Salamand. Um, what else was there? Bapsk? And it's the pop, Dreadnought. Pop, 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 or something. Yeah. And then, uh, Sid in the airship that pops. Pop, pop. 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 I don't remember what it is. Well, looks like you could never make it that far on foot. Okay, so it sounds like we need to go to one of these away. airship things. Oh, yeah, yeah. East to the port city of Palum. I never um, finished the rest of that text box. East, huh? Mm. Guess we're doing some exploring. Is anyone else going to say stuff? What is this king going to say? He's asleep. Oh. He's <laughs> just depressed. He's looking at us. He's like lying on his belly. Oh, I thought he had, like, had his like king robe pulled over his face because he's like sad. Oh. No, he's facing me. Oh, he lost Scott as well. He had proposed to Hilda, you know. Now he'll never hear her answer. I always thought he'd make a fine husband for her. So he's got his little butt in the air? Is that what that, like, puffy thing is? Yeah. Yeah, that's his butt. Our quest has been trampled underfoot by the Imperial Army to think we could be so easily defeated. What's this? Borgen betrayed us. Then we did not fall to the sword, but to the corrupt hearts of men. Ooh, it's so much better. Why does that make him feel so much better? <laughs> he's like, he thinks that we were betrayed? Sweet. <laughs> we're not weak, we're just betrayed. We believe Mithril was in common use once, long ago. Some surviving records indicate Mithril was mined in the north near Semit Falls. Interesting. We could go north also. But I think we're supposed to go to Paloom first. Yeah, that, that wizard probably knows what's up. What? The Empire with Dead? Maybe then we have to go north. For such a weapon. What came first? Um, Star Wars or this game? Star Wars by quite a bit. Is the Dreadnought just basically a Death Star? This is the first I've heard of such a thing. Um, so that's the way of it. They didn't tell me for fear of worrying me. Oops. He's worried. I think Dreadnought, like most of the things in this game, is a canonical <laughs> thing. Hey, King. Airship. A what? Sorry. Dreadnought is a canonical... Did you say something like, after that? I, like, I, I bet that it, it's a canonical fantasy thing. Like, I bet that it shows up in Dungeons and Dragons and, and stuff like that. Uh, like, you know, like, all the stuff in this game is, like, yeah. stuff that's in Dungeons and Dragons. The townspeople have been enslaved in our post work with that rest. You should be able to use that canoe to cross the lake to the east and reach the port of Paloom. 
You, All right, you can so find. it sounds like that's... Ooh, Tobol. Yeah, we've talked to, to these cats before. Where is Tobol? He's somewhere out here, right? All right, um, let's see. We're rested up. Yeah, Minwoo knows like everything. It's so cool. His cure and life is all like leveled up. Man. All right, Minwoo. If the Dreadnought is completed, it will destroy everything in its path. But what can I do to stop it? I couldn't even save my own brother. There's a mythical sword in Kashmir that has been handed down through the ages. My brother was very fond of that sword. It truly really was a magnificent blade. Like, what does this guy want to marry his brother or something? <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> talk about something else, man. His brother's dead. So, you know, he yeah, can't he's help not it. Coming back. He can't help it. Yeah. Um All right. We're broke, Should I right? No, we got some money. Oh, okay. Um we don't have any thunder. Should I give that to our magician girl? Yeah, let's get her some thunder. Thunder? Uh you, you took the words out of my mouth. Um uh, items, thunder tome. Maria. Furion has more magic MP though. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she's she's got a good amount though. Furion's a brawler, right? He's kind of doing both. Can't Guy's the one that's just like attacking willy nilly. He, I he would, I'm still leaning Maria, but it's up to you. All right. I'll put it on Maria. Him having more MP is just because we've been having him cast more spells, right? That's all that means? Maybe. Maybe. I was trying to use him to, like, catch him up to Maria. What weapon does he have? Does he even have any weapons? He's got a staff. Ooh. Minwoo? Minwoo. Copper cuirass. Alright, should we buy any weapons and armor? This kid want? Maybe some armor. This kid wants to eat mithril. Because these weapons are pretty poopy, right? Most of them. Um, we're already... we're Because we, we already have the guy in the front swinging the double axe, right? Yeah, we've got... And that seems pretty good for him. Yeah, we have a broadsword for our main guy. And a bow for the guy in the... I think our, our guys in the back are fine. I thought we were on the axes for our main. No? No, the axes are on, on our. Um, our uh, uh, brawler guy? Our brawler guy. Our, our guy, guy. Guy. Guy has axes. The guy. guy. This one, we're kind of. Okay. I'm going for a balance. He's got fire and a sword and shield. He's the main character, you know? He's got to have that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like. Our magic guy needs some defense. Uh, Min Wu. Min Wu. I'm gonna give him a hat. Yeah, let's get him. Let's give him because a nice it hat. said it said he had no head, right? Yeah. All of our guys don't so have any we, head. Should I buy everyone a hat? So we need to. Yeah. Hundred percent. Got to get armored up. That's just. You know. Final Fantasy 101. You should never have an empty armor slot if you could help it, I would think. Lowers for evasion, though. Uh, evasion's like for the She's got really low evasion, know. though. This guy, our, so our guy here hit. has a lot of evasion. But you still always get hit, right? And rarely get double hit? Attack so what is evasion really doing? 
You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if, if no matter your evasion percentage, you're always just getting hit once, and then I feel like evasion's like not a meaningful stat. I see, I see. You can't. Arms. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just move on. Wait. We we did we we didn't get him hats? I gave everyone a hat. Okay. Everyone's got hats. Uh let's stock up on Do we need some, some drinks? potions. Oh. Yeah, we might This guy's got the potions? Yeah. Let's buy uh ten. Yeah, we should get some, a couple big ones too, right? You think the so? The hard stuff. Yeah. I meant like high potion, not like this crazy wacky stuff. I'm gonna get a couple antidotes. I feel like we don't need them as much in this game. But you never know. Oh, did we determine that that was poison that we experienced earlier that, cut, that goes away after the... Fight? Yeah. It also says there's Is venom. The case? So though, down okay. here it says Maybe it cures venom different. and poison. Yeah, Maybe yeah, yeah. So one of venom them is like the, the bad one. Yeah, one of them sticks. And poison is just like yeah. I don't think we need these. These are probably well stone. It's expensive. Yeah, that's all our money though. Yeah. And toad Here's status. The toad status. <laughs> Well, I hope I hope we get to see that at least once or twice. All right. Yeah, I think we're good on this stuff. We are heading east. I will say they would be real jerks if they put stone bad guys like at the beginning of the game. All right, let's see um how this guy attacks. If, I, if he goes I bet first. he's not there much of a brawler. Oh yeah, if he missed. Yeah. He's a lover, not a fighter. Did he level up his staff, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really use that. He's a level one uh, stick user. It's fine. Are, aren't we supposed to go east across the water? Does the canoe work on lakes like that? Oh yeah, uh, let's have her use Thunder, level that up. Alright, let's see if we can cross it. Yeah, I can't cross that. I can cross this lake, I think. Um, okay. Yeah, here it is. So this, there's the boat, though. See what these things do. Revive. Blink. Raises evasion. Raises de defense. Protect. Defense. Magic defense. Magic defense. Reduces MP. Wall is a cool spell. I would think maybe for the late, maybe in the later part of the game, if you're yeah. running into magic. Do you think this guy is gonna stick with us though? Ooh, switches HP and MP oh, yeah. with the target. So you just like sap them and then you swap them. Fear, teleport. We're working up your stick. Oh, 
a lot of health too. He's in there battling. Okay. Good. Can I go into this a good boy. Oh, there we go. So this is a uh, what's it called? Paloom. Paloom. Hello there. Is, this, is that a? Uh... Ye folks wouldn't be looking to book passage on a ship, would ye? For just thirty-two gil, we'll see ye safely to Poft. Oh. Do we want to go? Poft is where Sid is for the airship. I kind of want to go. Yeah, we could go to. But let's let's look yeah, around let's town first. I want to look around ah. town first. I would have just gone. Oh, the Empire hasn't attacked Palum or Poft. Because what if he doesn't ask yet? again? Oh, that's right. What if right. he's offended now? I'll just, uh... I don't know. The ship headed out of our little port will take you straight to Poft. What is this? Anybody in the inn? Six beds. Now there's a fine lass. How about you and me go have a drink? I think this is you. You're voicing. I'm us. sorry, I was sneezing. I muted myself because I was sneezing. Oh, bless you. Um, what does Maria sound like? She's like, um, with you? Not a chance. Ooh, I can play as Minwoo. He's like, no, I was talking to Min Wu, bro. Bafsk Salamand, once you pass Poft, they say all the cities are under control of the Empire. Ah, there's the Empire is bad, right? Yeah. This is Palum. It's just a little port town. Got any new weapons? A mace, huh? You got double axe. How does that come? So it's still worse than axe. Attack is down. Accuracy is up. But yeah. The da and the dagger is a poop weapon. I don't know why these there's arrows up weapons. though for these guys. <clears throat> Doesn't that just mean they can use it? But then um. Guy has an arrow down. So he can't use it. Oh, really? I just assumed that, like, it's worse for them and it's better than them. If they can't use it, then there wouldn't oh. be an arrow next to them at all. I think. Oh, okay. Better for them than what? I don't know. What they have no. now. But I don't know. That doesn't make sense. That, that seems like, wrong. Go, go to, like... Oops, I did not mean to buy that. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it means can or can't use. That's what I, how I was interpreting it. You can use it. It's just not good. Let's see. She can use the dagger. But with her being in the back and being the mage. But she's in a rear area yeah. uh, fighter. It's whatever. We're we're still figuring this out. Who's this? Plume's a town of freedom. Wanna settle down here with me, handsome? Oh, this is a woman of the night. Ooh. She's she's for the streets. Um, I can upgrade my shield, I think. Okay, I'm interested in that. Bronze shield. Let's just get the shield for this guy. Uh, there we go. And maybe... Oh, it goes in there. Can he have a shield? Does that help? It lowers his attack, though. It's not like he's going to attack that much. Yeah, you can give, you can give the buckler to Minwu. I like gloving them up too. No glove, no love. That's what I always say. But what if he leaves? What if he leaves the party? He's like, well, my job is done. Goodbye. 
then we get to keep his gloves. All right, any new magic? Cure, blink, protect, blink and sucks. shell. Wait, what is, what is protect? Um, protect. Raises just regular defense. Yeah, raises defense. I like that. Blink raises evasion. Blink is And poopy. shell raises magic defense. I think All of which we'll Minwoo has, so I, I'm not too worried oh. about buying these yet, but what would you buy? Okay. What should I should I get something? Uh, for, I mean, you could teach Maria for check. Should we start working on it? Yeah, because we we think we're gonna lose Minwoo. Yeah. But yeah, I see what you're saying. You might want to hedge if you, on if he's gonna stick around. But we're gonna get that guy who died, right? He's gonna replace Minwoo or something. Yeah. Our party maybe can't get bigger than four, four, right? Oh, maybe it can. Maybe that's why the inn had six beds. I'll play as Maria. Here, this will convince him. All right, let's go to Poth. Just board the ship in front of town and off you go. It'd be funny if every time you said no, he raises the price. We're supposed to get in a ship. Yeah, I was just up. seeing if there's another town around. Also, I wanted to at least level this up a bit. How much does this cost? It probably heals a lot, huh? She's on herself. What a dweeb. Um, and then level up thunder. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I don't what control is the friend. This is nothing. I wanted to guarantee a, a turn. Oh, okay. All right, so this must be Poft. Oh, well, the map water right. is so dark. It's so like black. This is the port of... Oh, wait, this is the Lady of the Night. This is the port of Poft. Salamand is to the north. And to our east is Buffs. Wow, they're all right there, huh? Yeah, we're supposed to go Salamand, right? Yeah. We could check out that Dreadnought, though. Oh, we just came from Paloom. We're good. Is this a bar? Oh, yeah. Let's talk to this guy in the corner. Buffs, the city to our east is under control of the Empire. They're building something terrible there. All right. Let's join these guys. Hey. They're just saying the same thing, these drunks. Can I interest you folks in a ride on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship in its kind on all the world? No matter how far, we'll take you to your destination in the blink of an eye. Of course, transportation of this fine caliber comes at a cost. Interested? Yes. Where to? Wow. That's too expensive. That's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I imagine this is Sid then. You here to ride the airship? If you've got the cash, there's no place I can't take you. You want on the airship? You pay the guy behind me. What? Huh? Huh. That oversized garbage scow. Airships aren't about how big you build them. Airships are all about what they can do. This guy loves airships. What about this canoe? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Alright. Someday we'll fly in the airship. 
We don't need to go in the inn, right? No, nah, we're good. Um, let me magic up some... Here. That doesn't go up that high, huh? Yeah, there's six beds in there, too. Have you seen the airship? It belongs to a fella named Sid who lives right here in Pop. He's the only one around who can fly it. I wonder if there's a way to call the airship. Like, do you have to get his number? I don't think you call him. You gotta go to his guy behind him. Yeah, but I mean, like, is that the only way? Like, if you're really far away and I want to go back to this town. Oh. Uh. Am I going to have to, like, walk all the way back? That's a good question. There's probably another airship guy somewhere. I mean, it's somewhere we'll get around airship. Or maybe we kill Sid and take his. <laughs> it does seem like the, the airship is flying around constantly, so I wonder if it, it'll show up in every town you're in. There's a guy uh, there, maybe. I wonder. Ye be looking for Sid. He's probably over in the pub. I hear a few gill will get ye a ride in that airship of his. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. This town kinda sucks. <laughs> it's just people talking about Sid's airship. What's up with that? There's no like wizards or anything. It's just a bunch of alcohol. Alright, what do you think this guy's gonna talk about? Have you seen Sid? I heard he's got an airship. Bass. So he's this guy's saying the same thing as those drunk guys. He's talking about the dreadnought. Any new magic here? No, we can't buy him anyways. All right. Yeah, it's poop town. It's a small port town. Ambushed. Aha. 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 Ho ho. Oh. Alright. Is there anything I should be leveling up? I don't know, but I was just gonna say I, I it like this leveling Madia's uh uh bow isn't really freaking uh does that matter? Yeah. That's true. If she's gonna be a magician. Let's build up that thunder then. Do I need to build up his magic? I think he's fine for now. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's worth everyone having some amount of magic. Might um, be. Boss is to the. Does the magic get stronger, or does you just get more like PPs? I think both. So Bofsk is to the east, I believe, is what they said. I thought we wanted to go to Salamand. Salamand is north. I was just trying to see if I could see I it on this the... Mithril. Sprinter. Oh, what's this cat? This is like a... <laughs> is this like a chocobo? <laughs> I think Sprinter is the guy who trained the Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, I didn't realize he was a, a chocobo, like a bird, bird, like a furry. He's got a lot of health. Oh, this guy's tough. This guy, oh, he missed though. Thank goodness. I and mean, we're gonna get him here with the axe too. Yeah. Guy's really getting in there with his axe, axes, axes. You say axes or axen? I say axes. Oh my. Well, let's you think see. this guy's gonna be tough? Let us protect someone. 
Protect 5. Oh, that took a lot of MP. It wasn't tough. It wasn't tough, yeah. Uh... This one, you know what? I'm gonna run from this one. I like the flea here. Big fan of eight, eight is a little much. <laughs> Five is pushing it. Eight's a little much. All right, where's, where is this? Am I supposed to use Sid? We might have to use Sid. Did it say how much it cost to get to Stalin in? Was that a 300 one? Um, I don't remember. I think it was 300. Unless I just walked past it. The darn airship. Could be somewhere in these mountains. Could be. But it kind of looked like it was blocked off. Oh, we should check. Hmm. All right, Thunder leveled up. It's nice. Very nice. Because, like, if you look at the map... Hmm, it doesn't show it here. It looks like you can go through the mountain pass, but you kind of have to go around. I don't know if that's uh, where that's we want to cool. go, though. Oh, there's a town right there. That could be sound. Let's level up protect. Okay. Maybe this is where we want to go. Is it like Salaman. Is it snow? Oh, that's so cool. Are there any? It's so nice. It's covered in snow. Were there snow towns in the first game? No, there's no snow. I mean, there's ice in the ice cave. They all got the same stuff. I don't know why. I talked to you. Magic might be different though. Hmm, okay, life is nice. Don't have any money for it. Warp. Banishes the target to another dimension or transports the party to a previous floor. Teleport. So that's gonna be it. I'm a huge fan of warp and teleport in the first game. So I, we, we do have a like guy um, who can teleport. What, Minwoo has that already? Yeah, I don't think he has yeah, warp, but, but he has teleport. Min, we're gonna lose Minwu at, at any moment, though. I feel like. Yeah, I think so too. Should I take those items off of him? What items? All the stuff that I've given him. No. Why? If he leaves, he's taking Just it with something. him, isn't he? No, I don't think he should do that. Seems like the type. I love Joseph, but I know that if I'm around, I would just get in his way. Who's Joseph? Is this guy? Dog, no one asked. That's like very personal and no one cares. <clears throat> you have business with me? Check out this canoe. Uh, how about this ring? All right. You're here for Princess Hilda. A little short in the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. M Mithril? Uh, I haven't found any yet. I do have a few leads, but I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm gonna need you to do a little something to prove you are who you say you are. There are a bunch of people from Salaman who are being forced to work in the cave at Semit Falls. Rescue them, and we'll talk. Of course I heard of it. An abomination of airship is what it is. <laughs> There's a man who knows all about airships. Why should I tell you who he is? This guy doesn't really trust us, huh? No, we had the passcode and everything. Alright, how many of these people 
are going to talk about Joseph and Mithril. Mithril or Joseph? Which one? Joseph. Oh. The empires enslaved the men of Salaman and forced them to work in the cave at Summit Falls. Please, you have to help them. Summit Falls is beyond the mountain range to the south of Salaman. That's where the Emperor's been mining his Mithril. Okay. Anybody else? Alright. Do they have Mithril weapons here? No. No, we need to get the Mithril. I mean, but this oh, is like the Mithril. This is where you get the Mithril town, right? But that's true. It's very rare, huh? A battle axe and a longsword. Well, he just said he had leads, though, so I think he might send us some wild goose chase. I'm going to buy this longbow, longbow. for um, our friend. Yeah, I like that. Purchase. Accuracy goes down, huh? That's fine. Um, you know what? I'm giving her the leather gloves. Okay. Um, we don't need this. We have two broadswords. Guess so. All right. We'll come back for that axe later. Only four bets in this town. Okay, so we're going south. South? We need to go to the cave. Yeah. That's south? Did they say south? I would flee here. A lot of I was really thinking about it. I wanted to try this new longbow. The cave is at Semit Falls or something. Yeah, did they say it was I south? I thought that was up north. Alright, let's talk to this lady again. Didn't say. Summit Falls is beyond the mountain range to the south. Oh, okay, of you're Salaman. right. You're right. My bad. It's okay. I was questioning myself too. Such a, that was that was a really nice town. I knew as soon as we get up there and it's covered in snow. These guys again? I, I thought that was uh, pretty for sure. I thought that was a really nice way to convey that, like, oh, we've made it, you know, way up north into the mountains, you know? Yeah. Maybe it's between here? Oh, maybe we get there in a canoe. They really like the seven goblins thing, huh? Yeah. They're just looking for, um, Snow White. That's it. Hey. That's the falls. That's the falls right there. Oh, you think it's in the... Let's see how, how much this longbow does. That's not a lot. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> I mean, maybe she's just not going to be doing a lot of... A lot of he he is wearing, like, a lot of armor. So that makes sense. Yeah, there's no. I go. I can't go inside it. I think there's. There should be a cave somewhere around here. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. The longbow's starting to get better. Okay, do you think it's the eye of this uh, thing? Maybe I should use magic. Oh no, I didn't know I had an eye. Magic. Yeah, I wouldn't be like if we're gonna stick around for these fights. I feel like maybe we we try to sharpen the things we that we want to sharpen. Yeah, and level up. Yeah. Right, so we're leveling up some fire, and we're leveling up lizard. But I guess also we don't have many MPs of those. Yeah, that's the thing. Actually. I'm fine using on this guy because it's pretty like, how, are you, how are we supposed to train it if we have so few MPs? As we train more, I think uh, we get more MP. There it is. I hope. Is this the uh, Summit Falls? Yeah. This is a creepy looking cave. It's a very spooky cave. Wonder Sasquatch. Kind of Trip Sasquatch. Yikes. Let's see what, let's see what these, these little buggers can do. Why did I do Blizzard? I feel like they, they wouldn't be a... Uh, Week to blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is this thing? Ooh, what's that? That's a crystal. What's in it? We can't, we can't interact with it. Yeah, it didn't let me interact with it. Can I push it? Oh. All right. The Goblin God. Is this the new Goblin skin, or we have we faced these before? I feel like we faced these before. Are they strong? They don't seem very strong. I don't think they're very strong. It's just um. Minwu is pretty weak. Wow. Maria just got a little bit smarter. Smarter every day. Oh, I guess I should have looked at the map. There's a chest there. Chest there. Okay. This map isn't as big as, um... I only want to just bounce here. Um... The dungeons in Final Fantasy 1. At least this floor. Ooh, money's nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 200 is pretty good. Do you think you fall off the edge of the earth if you uh, walk into that black uh, area? You think it'll you let you walk try? off the ledge? I don't think it'll let me, but I can try it. Okay, yeah. Boom, that was a good shot. Yeah. Fire leveled up. I got I fire three now. That's uh, um, yeah, it's Yeah, it's not we letting can. me. We can do it. Oh. Lame. Do you think wait, is Fury is not dual wielding? Right? No, he's, he's got not. A shield in his left hand. He's not dual wielding. He has a shield. Do I want him? Do we want him to dual wield? He's doing a lot of attack, and I feel like we might want to. Uh... Ooh, fire three. Looks nice. What the disadvantage to dual wield is? What just your defense you... goes down. Yeah, you, your defense goes down, I think. You lose out on evasion. Yeah, you also lose out on a shield. Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. 
I think it's probably worth if he's gonna be doing some brawling. I like the aggressive is. strats. All right. Yeah, he's a fighter. Let him fight. Or, I mean, I know. I mean, he's, he's also got magic too. Fighter. Yeah. I, he's he's kind of a he's a he's a platoon player. He's a, a jack of all trades, right? Kind of balanced kind of dude, but still, I still feel like if he's gonna be doing some brawling. When we want to, we want to set him up with the, the tools he needs to succeed. All right, I'll give him. Should he be double double swords or sword axe? I don't know. I, I like double. I like keeping on matching. You know, have our double sword guy and our double axe guy. But it's 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 moot because we're gonna be we're gonna be getting a mythical soon. You know. And yeah, then we'll start swinging whatever kind of sick mithril weapons that they can give us with that. Probably stored in it, actually. It would be nice. Nice. Alright. Check in the map. There's a chest there. Interesting. How do you get over there? Oh. Are those, like, different doors? Alright. Oh, you can walk in the water, huh? Interesting. Can we climb up there? Or are we stuck in this little pool? <laughs> I want to level up her bow just to make it stronger, but it's probably better to just... Yeah, I think it, like... We're focusing on her magic. She just doesn't have as much magic yeah, I, as a I think, But I think we should... Furion has more magic? Yeah. More MP. His max is 55 and hers is 36. Oh, but she knows more spells, right? Yeah. I think we should be, like, using most of the magic, you know? On each... Uh, yeah, she'll, she'll build them up eventually. Ends, you know? I hope. Potion. Love it. This guy's tough. He's just tough. He's a tough, tough customer. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> you called it. Oh, I would run here. Five creepy goblins. This is like, we're like, we're, we're sitting at the kids' table here with these goblin guards, dude. Ooh. That's a strong uh, hit there. Yeah, he did get us there with the bow. But I still, I still disapprove of this fight. Sorry. That, um, Sorry. her bow skill isn't going up at all. Neither is uh, Furion's sword and shield stuff. Nobody's levels, skill levels aren't really going up, huh? I guess we need to fight tougher guys. Oh, her MP went up. That's good. She's 45 now. Wait, so then it does matter if how tough the guys are. Is that what you're saying? For like the weapons. How often you use it? Maybe, maybe for the skill levels. Let's level up protect. I think we I think we kinda need to 86 these goblins. 
the rest of this cave excursion. I gotta build a protect so it works against the boss, right? Hey, minimum uh, stack no, leveled up at I'm least. I'm not really with these goblins. I mean, right. we can't be hanging out with every little party of goblins we run into. I think we time to take goblins off the menu. Eye drops are nice. Eye drops, cool. Sasquatches, though? We can get in with these, these Sasquatches here. I feel like um, I need to cure someone. Oh, wow. That's a lot. <laughs> Okay. Um. Darn, that did not level up the cure. Jilly's going up. How much is his uh, evasion? 48. What is spirit? I forgot. Is there something I can do to raise her evasion, like, greatly? Making her very vulnerable, though. I don't think you want to worry about the invasion. Like I was saying, that's my. If her, if, if your evasion yeah, is high, it increases your agility. So, um, just now, Minwoo, his evasion's forty-eight, and so he's been like getting faster. Is basically what's happening. I think his That's his sure agility's been going up also. So I want I want her to get faster. What do you, what do you mean by faster? The agility. Her agility is fifteen. Fast in turn based combat. Maybe you go first. Because uh, right now Minwoo is always going really first because he's got twenty three. Because someone's always got to go first. Yeah, but what if the bad guys have higher agility? It could also mean we're less likely to get ambushed. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna mess around with okay. this. Sure. We're, we're gonna make her naked. <laughs> Zero defense. I want to see what happens. I think she's gonna get... Rex is what's gonna happen. We got a high potion. Up to you. <laughs> if I hadn't taken off all their clothes, then I would stick around. Alright, how do I get there? Here we go. Open with protect. Ray's dead. Let's see. Let's see if the agility goes up at least. Minimus agility went up. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what agility is. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put her clothes back on.
It could still be the things that you said. We don't have any like definitive proof that it's not. Yeah. I'll go ask those wizards. The, from the beginning of the game? Absolutely I feel like they not. mentioned it. Alright, fine, I'll Google it. Final Fantasy 2, what doth agility do? It says here, oh, spirit is white magic, by the way. Like how good you are at it? Yeah. So that's why his cures are so strong, because he has high spirit. Agility factors into evasion. Oh, contributes to evading attacks more effectively and action order in battle. Agility has a random chance of increasing after each battle based on the evasion stat. Avoiding heavy armor and equipping shields or weapons with high evasion values will boost agility growth. Kind of a tertiary kind of poop stat. Alright, we've got four doors here. You know what I mean? It's kind of trinkety, kind of fidgety. Like, it's great to like you get to go first in battle and like you know uh whatever the other thing was but like like a dodge and attack once in a while but like compared to level leveling up like brute strength or brute power of magic i feel like it's just not a, a very important uh, it's yeah kind of a poopy stat. i say that uh yeah that one's good get to flee here to flee. no we got preemptive strike I'm taking him out. Level up that bow. Strength one up, that's nice. Uh, left door? Yeah. There's all these doors everywhere. Did we luck this into the right? Game. I'm sorry, what was your, who, what to the right? Yeah, did we luck into the right door? I wonder. Oh, well, I don't know, probably not. But it's probably just a big cave. Maria. There we go. That was a nice hit. Okay. Monsters? No, it's money. Now this I'll run from. Okay. Um, what door should I go into? Ooh, who's this guy? A balloon? They probably do know, poison, guess, right? Scrap find out. Yeah, let's, probably. Let's find out. I want to find out. Oh, well, they're not that strong. I guess they are balloons. Fourteen. He's not popped by the arrow, despite being a balloon. Dude, Maria kind of sucks with that longbow. Yeah. That's why I've been trying to use it so it would level up. I think it might be a lost cause. How do you increase accuracy? I wonder if um, there's a way to boost your accuracy. Probably not. Oh, each point of strength directly boosts accuracy by 1%, according to this. I was worried that the bridge would fall out. Alright. 
just oh this is not good. Self destruct the one. Good thing I put her clothes back on. Well, there's five now, so, um... You can run, since you your friend. It's, it's uh, so much easier to run. <laughs> Make a park. No, I don't know the song. I've become so numb. I know that song. Yeah, it's from the same record. It's that one. Right, Me Meteora. Right, Maria's the stamina one. went up. Money. Nice. Alright, I know there wasn't anything down here, but I'll check just in case. Oh, they're attacking first, huh? Dang it. Guy. Guess that's what we get for not giving him a shield. Well. And then he got arrows stuck in his butt. What? No, no, we have to <laughs> run. We can't give up now. <laughs> Shield leveled up. He's gonna leave us anyway, though. Yeah, I've become very mistrustful of Min Wu. All right, just making sure. I should have um, taken more care of uh, my magic. What do you mean, taking more care of your magic? I'm afraid to use much more magic at this point, since, uh, I don't know uh, how much longer this dungeon is going to be. That'll be fine. You gotta use it or lose it. Oh no. What if I need it against the boss, though? I mean, yes, but also that's like a slippery slope to, like, becoming that guy who never uses his magic, and then when you need it, it won't be leveled. That's true. Alright, next fight. I'll do some uh, magic. Alright, what door should I go into? There's the three on the left, and then there's the one on the right. I feel like going through the one on the right first. Okay. Because that might not be, um... Goblins for the rest of our lives. <laughs> use it or lose it. Here. We're using it or losing it. No, but not on these poop battles. <laughs> Dude, I'm not with these goblin guards. There's too late in the game to be hanging around with goblin guards. We're a mature party. Varian's agility went up. That's nice. This is like if you had like a party you and you invited like a, a you know, 14 year old or something. Nothing. Because that was empty. Alright. Should I go left again? I'm feeling right this time. TBH. Found 
I'm gonna attack these folks. Help us, please. Help us, please. Help us, please. Help us, please. Period, it's you. Am I ever glad you're here? This is Yosef's daughter, Nelly. I think that dastardly Borgans have been holding her hostage to threaten Yosef. Princess Hilda told you to bring her back some mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in. I figured out that this was where the mithril was coming from easy enough. So I thought I'd get the jump on you guys and add the mithril before you could get here. Only I messed up and got caught. Me, of all people. Well, I know when I'm in over my head. So long. Don't worry, I'll take everyone here with me. Thanks for saving us, I owe you one. I didn't get to talk to Nelly though. All right. How did we save them? I have no idea. Um, you know what, I'm gonna use some potions instead. That's probably a smart thing to do. I guess I technically can go back, right? Oh no, I gotta find Mithril. There's probably some, uh... at the bottom here. Okay. I was gonna say... Should I turn around and fight? No? That's good. <laughs> doesn't that doesn't that bug you though that we save them for no reason? Like Fire Tone. Hey, should I give this to uh someone? Maria? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I could give something to the guy. Nah, uh, he's our brawler. Although, do they just, is there just one, do moves have their own MP, or is it just like, she just has 45 spells to cast, or whatever? Uh, moves have their own MP. It could be the same one. The more they level up, the more expensive they get. Do moves get more expensive? Yeah. Sprinters are fine to fight, right? But, but it's coming out of their same... Yeah, yeah, sure. It's coming out of that same... Um... Cool. Um, cool yeah. MP. yeah. Yeah. Anything? No. I have flee here. This is going to be good. It's tedious for my choice. My bad. I guess it has been over an hour. No, I just meant with that battle. I, I, don't, I didn't mean like the, the, uh, we the have overall these balloons. campaign. No, we, we, uh, we don't want to be near these self-destruct guys. These vault orbs. What else uh, self-destructs? In a classic fantasy fashion. Oh, we haven't seen these I don't guys. Know, like the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it right? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we don't Oh wow, do these guys are tough customers. Wait, what? What's going on? Maybe we can only take them out with magic. Yeah, I guess so. Uh... They're probably all like, oh no, oh no, please don't use magic. Yeah, 
they're probably super pissed at me to figure that out. Sap do something? Oh, heck yeah. Wait, how come he didn't die? It just reduces MP. <laughs> Do you think they gave us a lot of stuff? Axe leveled up. No. Oh well. That was a very poopy yield for such a tricky foe. Okay, so we got all these doors here. I'm going for that chest first. Um, <laughs> but which door should I go to? The one closest to the chest? I don't know, man. There's a lot. I suppose so. Preemptive strike. This cave is way, is way bigger than I expected it to be. Yeah, like, each individual screen is smaller, I think, than Final Fantasy 1, but there's a lot more floors. Oh, we're not getting away, huh? I am gonna get away. Okay. <laughs> Money. Oh. Hey. Monsters, baby. Ooh, A land turtle. This guy looked really strong. This guy is a tank. He's straight up. This guy is a force of nature. I'm really low on magic though. <laughs> so unless we can get Guy to crit, um, it's not looking too hot. We're gonna get it in here, I think. He's gotta be low on okay. HP. Yeah. Okay. 300 gil. Pretty good. A teleport tome. I think I'll give that to Furion. Or. I can give teleport to, um. Guy. Because we won't be using teleport that yeah. often, right? It's out, you use it out of battle. Yeah. yeah. See if you can. Can he learn it? Vanishes like the target to another to dimension. He can learn it. Should I do it? Yeah, teach you some. Yeah. Bam. An empty room. Yeah, like, should have known. these big party boots. Yeah, maybe as we descend deeper into the dungeon, we run into more. Maybe once you save the slaves, that's when you're supposed to leave. It just feels wrong to just leave, though. Yeah, I think I think we need to explore the rest of this cave. Yeah. 
What's this guy? Is that Meta Knight? <laughs> um, let me do a quick save. I'm just worried because I have s not a lot of magic. This is probably an empty room, right? Yeah. Oh, there's monsters in here. Ooh. All right, we're gonna take him out. Yeah, so I think we need to, yeah, we gotta have it out with Meta Knight here. He looks pretty tough. He looks <laughs> pretty strong. Rebels, never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you'd be right. My mithril blade straight through your heart. Oh, I thought this guy would look cooler. Uh, he looks pretty cool. All right, let's protect someone. No. And we need him to protect her. Fifty-six, pretty good. Oh, and the sergeant leads with a miss. Oh no. Let's keep doing fire. Yeah, I don't know what to do with Minmu. I guess I can just you deal, can like, cast, status like, and... Fall. Yeah. He's already Ooh. missing a lot, so... One is very nice. Okay. Um, so what should I do? Silence him? Fog him? I think fog. Nice and What the heck? Aha! Oh, this guy kind of sucks though. He's just tanky. I mean, he tanks the. Yeah, I shouldn't have used all that magic. Let's keep fogging him though. Uh, it's okay. I kind of. Uh, there we go. Encourage you too. Bow is magic? He's gonna be our cure guy. <laughs> this is a great fight. It'd be nice if we had a little more magic. I think Mo's gonna get the job done here though. This is a couple crits. Boom, 12. I think we're getting real close here. We're chipping away. Ooh, he did six. Six? Oh yeah, that's very nice for me. Well, Everyone's gonna have like speaking. really I'm buff gonna... skills, maybe. If we're just swinging away. Look at that. Ooh. Uh. This will do something. 
Oh. Jeez Louise. This guy's one tough customer. I wish I hadn't given him a speech about <laughs> magic. It's okay though, we can just be a couple crits away. Boom, that could be- nah, I thought that would've been- maybe would've been the finishing blow. I hope he keeps using bow three. You can take another one. And I imagine I can't run from this battle either, huh? Probably not. We can take another one. Ooh. Oh, I thought that would have been it. So, what have you been up to uh, lately? Of, uh... In, in life. I've been having to attend a band practice because I, uh... Well, my friend, I feel in for his, his a band. I think, uh, mostly cover band is playing a performance. And if their bassist was had to go on vacation or something, so that's what I play performance for them. So I've been having to go to practice a lot of bass, bass guitar, like these cover songs. Nice. It's yeah. It's really not my favorite song. Oh, we got him! Boom! Boom! We got him! <laughs> They better have like their their weapon arms like maxed up. Look at that. Maria, come on, man. <laughs> uh Ferian. That's pretty good. Yeah, he did use a bunch of magic. Alright, Maria. Minwu. Mithril, we got a Mithril helm. Wow, 10% of the bestiary. Who wants this mithril helm? Evasion goes down, defense is nice. I'm thinking about giving it to a uh, guy. Oh, guy? Yeah, we give it to guy. He's our tank, after all. Yeah. Alright, let's see what this is about. Oh, and it's then we just found regular Mithril. Sweet. Anything inside this? Nope. Alright. We should just teleport out of here, huh? Yeah, I think we'll out of this process basically. All right, guy. Let's use this teleport. What do you think is further out? Can I go around that? I wonder. To where? Back to, uh... Sarsaparilla. Salamander. Oh, guy is almost dead. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> Me neither. Gotcha. Awesome. You're good. You're all good, guy. I could have gone this way the whole time. Oh no! Wait, I should have used uh, Maria. I want her to level up her um, bow. 
I mean, I think we're both just always going to suck. I mean, we just need to teach you some skills. Or magic. Girl. Do we, wait, do, do we get the EXP if we free the fight? I have no idea. I don't think we do. I don't think we're leaving. We might go. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just some cost, man. We gotta pay the station to be leaving. It's alright. And then, uh. Oh, come on, Maria. There we go. Hey, that's what I wanted. Her agility went up though, that's nice. Okay, we're here. Take the mithril to Altair and give it to the princess as soon as you can. How expensive do you think this will be? 318 to rest up and heal. I was gonna say not a lot, but not that much. I wonder if it's cheaper to like use potions and then uh, do that stuff. I can't imagine it is. All right. We are buying two long swords and two battle axes. Um, and then we're equipping long sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are these the and the are these the mithril ones? I don't think the mithril is used for, for that. I thought it was going to be to get us a sick weapon. Don't we need to go... To, we take it to the... We the have to go back to Altair. Yeah, we go back to Altair. Yeah. Our husbands are back safe and sound, and we have you to thank for it. Thank you so much. We owe our freedom to you. I was just saying, though, like, yeah, because uh, the, a snow the crab. Uh, blacksmith. Sorry. Yeah, the blacksmith was like, <laughs> ha, 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 ha. He's going to give us new weapons. I've heard that Joseph right? keeps his snow craft hidden on the first floor of the cave. Oh. I seem to remember him saying something about a wall near a blue stone or something like that. You know what? I think I'm gonna take a snow craft. You'd better get that mithril yeah, back to Altair. Princess Hill is waiting for you. Oh, I guess if you go back, he'll say like, oh yeah, there's mithril down there. Thanks for saving me. I wanna take a snow craft. Oh, this is the shrine thing. It says by the crystal? Yeah. Something about the wall. Um, I'm gonna get this life thing. That's good enough. I'm gonna give it to uh, Maria. Later. Alright. I wanna get this snowcraft. And then, should that be the episode, or should I walk all the way back to Altair? Altair. Um, there's, we could probably take a shortcut back there, right? Like, we could take the airship back. 
Yeah, we could, yeah, we that could try that. How much shorter would that be? I don't think it'd be that much wanna, shorter. Because wanna... we have to walk all the way down to pop. That's not that bad. Oh yeah, he's got double swords. That's right. I'm getting the Snowcraft. <laughs> Ooh, those are big axes. Oh yeah. I do feel like we're just gonna replace them right away with the mithril. We only got one Weapons mithril though. Got... That's like a material. I mean, it might be a lot. I think it's just gonna give us one thing. The wall near this. Aha! I see. Well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm. I think we should, we should trot on down to Altair. Okay. Trying to get a weapon, but it, also, if you wanted to, any episode here, that would be fine. That's fine. Would be totally fine. Let's see. It's just a. Uh, it's just one. Kind of a uh, one tip for, for moving quickly, across the map, is that you don't have to fight every, uh, enemy encounter. This is just fun. Just fun tip. <laughs> Does it let you uh, menu up? Huh? It's just like, like this double. Around. It's just so much fat. If it's just one, I feel like it's faster to just kill it, then do that extra menuing. Yeah, that's what I mostly advocate for running. That's why I always say to run when there's like, you know, four goblins or something. It's fine if you want to just do that. Um, oh, this is, I mean, this is a lot of animation. That is true. Because you know. um, we've got the double, uh... That was an extreme example, though. I guess there's a setting you can set to have it always go to flee, so you don't have to do as much. But um, was it? So just it, it is letting you one? go up instead of going down twice to get from defend to flee. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, with that, I don't know. I maybe just work on the menu a little. Yes. I feel like you should be able to really rattle it off. We're doing. We're going to Alt Altair. That's that's a lot though. That's that's quite that's a so bit. That's so much. Oh my god. Why is it so much? Um. You know what? Actually, let's go to Basque. They've got that dreadnought there. It's cheap. And then we can save, and that'll be the the thing. What do you think? Okay. Sure. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. The airship will be waiting for you outside. Oh, I have to actually we, we, walk. We, to we it. weren't already at Babs, though. No. Ah. We haven't been here before. We have not. Go in this town. Oh, there's the the dreadnought up there. You see it? That thing is yeah. huge. It is. 
It's just an abomination. Can I talk to people here? Probably not those big guys. Those guys will fight you, the, the night guys. Yeah, because we're rebel scum. I just wanted to see the, uh, um, the Dreadnought. Yeah, we got any cool magic? You can push this them, right? Have more yeah, you can push the, them. <laughs> Not this guy, though. Fear Basuna. Cure status ailments temporarily. Esuna. Cure status ailments. Silence. Inflict silence. Those all suck. I think. You're in my way. You don't think it'll let us like interact with the treadnought? Like go inside the treadnought? You want me to try? What kind of weapons yeah. you got here? Probably just poop. Yeah, kind of, kind of poop. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the defense either. Um, let's see. I think we can. Oh no, uh, no, no! You have to go down those stairs, and it'll show up there. Okay. Man, and I can't take the airship back to that town. This is lame. It's not that far of a walk, though. Should I get back to Altier? <laughs> or just, uh, should we end it here? I'm ready to um, walk in. We could... Um, we have to go across the port, and then it's just a little walk back. Yeah, we might as well go back. Yeah, let's go to Palum. Do you think we'll, we'll ever have a ship of our own? Or is this all there is? You have to pay for travel. I'm gonna guess that we never get our own ship. But we do get a ship. That'd be pretty nice. Um is it below? I think it's below. It's you. Oh, we're not getting away, are we? No, we're gonna get away. 100%. We did not get away. A good dual flea here, though. Gonna is it going to happen here. again, you think? There's a second flea. Oh. No, I think the second flea is going to get, get to it. Huh? Alrighty. We're back. Um, let, yeah, let's turn this stuff in. And then that'll be the episode. Turn... Yeah, I want to talk to... We're, we're talking to this lady about the Mithril yeah. first. Yeah, we want to get this... Here's a Mithril. You've found the Mithril! Now we'll finally be able to fight the Emperor on equal footing. Please take the Mithril to Tobol, the town blacksmith. I'm certain he'll be able to use it to make you some magnificent weapons. It is weapons plural, huh? 
Yeah, that's why I say maybe not load up on all the kind of mid weapons. But that's okay. We can always sell them back. What could you want with me? I'm just an old man. The geezer act is just a cover, huh? <laughs> I'm the best darn blacksmith in the Arable Army. Alright. Ho ho, that's mithril. I've been waiting for the chance to work on this metal for as long as I can remember. Alright, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it. I'll start crafting. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. You can buy the equipment I made over the shop. No. Oh. He's making us pay for it. Yeah. You there just get like free weapons and armor for <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping. Okay. They're pretty pricey. Mithril spear, so, mithril sword. So what, ha what? What are we currently getting? I'm giving him a mithril well, kind sword. Of stat boost. Like, how much better is it than what we have? Um, seven points higher. Twenty versus thirteen. And what is the axe? How much damage does the axe do? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have him so, hold on to axes. Maybe. Should I give him a spear though? Okay. I mean, how much is the spear? Eighteen. He can't swing the sword. The sword's better can, than a spear. Yeah, that's true. It's just more expensive. It's only a hundred though. We can only get one more, so I would get a sword. I mean... He, he doesn't have much skill with the sword though. But... Wait, yeah. is that how that works? Yeah. He needs to be swinging the sword. But he'll he'll learn. Wait, wait, what? You'll learn today. So he, he resets when he gets a, a new weapon. Yeah. No, that's that's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. He has an attack set, right? He still has an attack set, but it, like his his um, he'll miss more often. Yeah. His skill level with the sword is one. Oh, because he's just an axe guy? Yeah, he's been an axe guy for most of the, our time together. So, changing the material doesn't matter, but changing the type of weapon matters? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think we want double mithril sword for the fighter, and then... Uh, just keep him on axes. Keep him on axes? Hope we find good axes at some point. Alright. Because I could level him up on sword, but that's probably a waste of time, huh? And my thinking was that we'll find better axes eventually, right? Yeah. Is it just wrapped to keep him on the axe, or like... It's fine. We can keep him on the axe. We'll we'll find better axes. I want to see what this mithril sword looks like. Oh no, you should level up your bow. Did we do? Did we get him one or two? We gave him two. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very cool. All right. Let's go back to Altair. 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 And we'll save. There we go. Maybe sword is better. Maybe by the end of the game we just want to have them both on sword. I don't know. Yeah, what if they there's like the Masamines in this game also? You wanna give them both the option? Yeah, right? I mean I just, I mean I just know that in the other game axes are pretty poopy in the scheme of things. All the all the most broken weapons are uh, swords. So, I would, if it's like that, would they would they give you like an axe stat? 
It seems like it would be kind of cruel. But, I don't know. To just make that a trap. But it could be, yeah, it could be a trap. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he started with I an look axe. Yeah, but sometimes they start you out with, like, junk, you know? That's true. Well, that's Final Fantasy 2. That's, that's this episode. Do you have any... thoughts? Predictions? Impediments? I, I, would, I was very impressed with some of the atmosphere um, in the game, especially the snowy town. Yeah, the snow town was oh, pretty that nice. That was a really nice touch. Yeah. The Just dungeon... Little, 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 the music... Uh, Dungeon was more maze like than uh, expected. Yeah. Lots of empty rooms. And we never tried those other two doors at the first, like, uh, fourth. I think they're empty rooms. Basing off of, like, um, how those other other doors were just empty rooms, I, I feel like they're empty rooms. Do you want me to go back Maybe. and check, like, on my free time? That's something no, I can do. You don't, do you don't have to do that. Do some extra grinding on the way, you know? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Alright. Okay. We could also have them unarmed. We can just have, like, a bunch of, like, unarmed guys take away everyone everyone's weapons and just you know turn them into monks wait do you, can you train unarmed i think there's an unarmed stat yeah huh i wonder how good that gets well How come we didn't name one of the characters BTB like we usually do? Do we usually do that? I feel like that's the thing we usually do. Oh. It's because I'm tired of naming people BTB. Darn. It doesn't build well for future campaigns. <laughs> Is there another, like, series of three letters that, you know, that isn't BTB? No, it's just the one. Like I'm a, not really interested in any others. Like TBK or KFC. No. no. It's really just BTB. TMP? What about TMP? TMP is pretty good. Yeah. Doesn't that same ring to it as BTB though? This has a kind of, it's kind of electric, you know? It's a name that really announces its presence. You know, I was thinking about money. moving, uh, like, this riddle talk to the end of the video. Um, if I ever have any riddle progress, I would, I would say it, but I don't have any riddle progress. Okay, I like to change, though. Yeah, we want to. We want Mixing people to like not get put off from, you know. What's this riddle yeah, business? Yeah. We we, we want to watch Final Fantasy too. It's fine at the end. Yeah, just cut straight to the good stuff. No appetizer. We'll we'll eat the appetizer later. Yeah, it's straight like to that burger. It's like um when you're listening to a podcast. If they open up with like, hey, here's my social media handle go check out our Patreon at the very beginning. Nah, you just like... It's like boring. And then you close it out. Yeah. But if they move it to the end, just then you can wait. just like... You've already listened to skip it. the whole podcast. You just skip it. Which you could also do at the beginning if you're savvy with the computer. That's true. Hit the uh, forward arrow a couple times. Double tap that screen... 
hit a little uh, 15 seconds to the right a couple times you just kind of get it in that way but but uh, it's a good it's a good change I like it yeah and uh, yeah I think it's great yeah I just need I'm just trying to think of I'm trying to figure out the uh, how to guarantee or how how to like not talk to the random how to ensure you're not talking to the random one that's what I'm trying to I want to figure out first but hitting the wall I'll figure it out well, like, I know that's what I want to do but I haven't thought about it that much you know all you can do is ask them questions yeah so I it, I feel like it would have to be I ask so I, I don't think I ask the same person twice for the first questions at least I ask one and then I ask a different one the same question or what different um, question same question could be the same so using your your tech about like getting them to agree essentially I'm going to say ga da will you say da too um however that that is phrased um trying to get a match maybe like uh asking them would be like if asking about the random god and what about him I really like, is, like is this eat. is like asking number one is three the random god in that kind of sense of like I think three is the random god. If you agree, say da. And they say ga. Or no, it's ya. And they say ya. I don't know, I don't know. But something like that. Um, that is a good start. Yeah. That's uh, much more in the right direction than some of the Previous some of the attempts. other stuff you've been tossing out recently, yeah. I mean, I could. So I was thinking, like, you do the first two questions is asking about the random god, and then maybe from there you would know. At least you'd have a good idea on who the random god is, or who to trust, who not to ask, and then that third you will ask not the random god but then I don't know how to determine maybe from the first two questions you would have determined um, who is uh, truth and who is lie so <coughs> you only have three questions right yeah so you have to get a lot out of each one so like any strategy that's like I'm gonna ask this question and I'm ask another person the same question, it's like you're not like, getting as much. You a lot of questions to find out like one thing, and if one of them is the random god, then like what what good was it really that we asked him? And like I don't know. Um, so you want to get at least two pieces of information from a question instead of just one. No, just saying that as any plan that's like asking the same question twice to different gods is like that's burning through a lot of questions. Okay. So it could be like so I think ask you might ask with, with that tech like ask about the random god and depending on how they answer then you ask like it's a different god 
something else. It could be something like that. Like you could kind of try to trust that that first one. Be like, all right, so if that guy's not the random god, I will ask them about who the uh, god. It's of more complicated. It's more complicated than that. But I think you're like think definitely thinking in the right direction. Well, anywho. Um, that's probably it for this episode. We hit the two-hour mark. It's a beefy one. Great. Great. More content for all the fans watching and listening at home. How far do you think we are in this game? You said it's a two-hour speedrun? Yeah. How long is a Final Fantasy 1 speedrun? Any percent? A little longer, not much. About two hours also? Okay. Uh, I It might be a little longer than two hours. I think it might be closer to three. I don't know. I think um, this was just our first dungeon, wasn't it? I don't even know if that was a real dungeon or, or what, how this game works. I would guess that we were like... Uh, a tenth? A fifth into the game? Fifth sounds high. Tenth sounds maybe a little low. Maybe like an eighth or something. Like, I don't know. Tenth or an eighth. Not much. Cool. Also, the other one went a little faster because I always knew where to go. That's true. I feel like this is less obtuse, though. I, I at least have a clearer sense of direction. Because uh, yeah. they're always like, oh yeah, I go west. But for like Final Fantasy 1, sometimes... I wouldn't catch. Maybe if there was a direction, I wouldn't know. There's like one person in the world who will tell you where you need to go next, and you have to yeah. like find him or remember to talk to him or whatever. Whereas here, there's like a lot of repetition. Like everyone in the town is just like, "You need to go. This. You need to go north. You need to, I heard Joseph was up north. Oh, go talk to Joseph." And it's like, okay. I get it. How long to yeah, beat? Dot com says about twenty five hours. Okay, and we've done about three and a half or something, three? Yeah. A lot of fluff, probably three. A lot of fluff, three hours. So I could probably eighth. run for more fights. You could. Yeah. Not blow all my magic too much. <laughs> uh, that was my fault. Um, but yeah, so then, yeah, eighth to tenth probably sounds so... Uh, Pretty, pretty good guess. Pretty good guess, if you ask me. All right. Well, then uh, we'll see you folks next week. Next time. Next week. We'll be back next week. Yeah. See you folks. <laughs>